All right, so a white background is kind of boring. Why don't we add something else to it? So right click, insert new object, and then we want to add a tiled background. All right, click insert, and just click anywhere. So now we have our good old tiled background editor again. So if we do something like that and close it, we got this image here. Um, if you right click, align, and cover layout, it will stretch out so it covers the entire level. All right, well, that's a very bad background. So um, <laughs> why don't we change that? So you, know, you click on this, the background, all right? Um, go over to property panel and then see properties. So click edit image. All right, we want to replace this image. So see this little icon, say load an image from a file. So you can click here and select a image or we can also just go to our um, folder here. So if you go back to our Pixel Adventure folder, go to uh, the background and just select one of these and use these. So I'm going to use the uh, round one, okay? So just drag it in here. And then, all right, we got this, so XSL. All right, so now we have our background. But you see how our background is now covering our little player? So we need to send this background behind the player. So we do that by right click, Z order, and send to bottom layer. So now it's in the back. And we also want to lock this because right now we can move it, but it's a background. So we don't want to move it around. So you do that by right click, lock, lock selection. All right, then now we have the background locked and we can't move it anywhere. Okay, so let's do that and I'll see you on the next video.